Hello. Oh, wow. I've just seen my hair in the camera. Uh, it does look like a lion's mane. Sorry about that. Um, I've just finished work for the day. This isn't my normal work attire, but I have been working from home. So I just thought, whack a hoodie on and feel comfortable. Why not? Um, so today I'm not cycling. I'm actually going on a run and I'm on week 14 of getting back into running. So when I did Paris Press Paris, which is a long distance bike ride back in August, I got an Achilles injury and I couldn't run anymore. So I had to have three months off running about, I think. Anyway, I started running again at the end of October, but I think the, the break from running kind of did me good because it kind of made me reevaluate why I run and whether I even want to run. And yeah, so a bit of a history of my running. Basically, I used to run a lot more before I started cycling. So I started cycling in 2021 um, and I kind of le left my running to the side a bit. But before I started cycling, I used to run a lot of times a week. I don't even know how many times, but it was basically when I was struggling a lot with an eating disorder, which I struggled with from, I'd say maybe the age of 20. It got really bad. Maybe the age of 18, actually, whenever I was at uni. I think I was at uni when I was 18. I don't even know. Um, yeah, from it started when I went to uni, basically. Um, and I struggled with an eating disorder badly for probably about five years. And then for the last sort of three years, mm it's been a lot better. I still struggle with a few things, but I can pretty much eat and keep my weight healthy and yeah, eat what I want without feeling too guilty. Sometimes it, it comes back, but on the whole, I'm good and I'm never going back there again, let me tell you that. Um, but when I struggled with an eating disorder, running became a way of like punishing myself and I used to hate every run I went on. I used to be forcing myself to go and tell myself like, if I don't run, I can't eat this or you can only eat this if you run this amount or you've got to go this fast. And I used to just drag myself out running and absolutely hate it. And just, yeah, it was just awful. And um, I did the Great North Run actually twice. The first time round was when I was really ill and I hated it and I, and I didn't get a very good time and just spent the whole time just feeling dizzy and horrible. And then the second time round I did it, I was in a much better place. I still wasn't 100% there, but I enjoyed it a lot more. Um, and since I've restarted running, I've decided I'm going to run because I want to. If I get up and I don't want to go on a run, I won't go. And I'm not going to focus on speed. I'm just going to focus on enjoying it and doing it because I did used to enjoy running before I had an eating disorder. And there have been runs where I've really enjoyed it. So I just want to get a healthy relationship with running. And this is like another step forward in my sort of recovery from an eating disorder, I'd say. And just, yeah. So I just want to do it for fitness. I want to see how far I can go in terms of distance. Because the furthest I've ever, ever run is a half marathon. Um, Great North Run, which is absolutely great. Um, so we'll see if I can go any further. But the only problem with me is I always tend to get like a bit of a hip injury or a knee injury. So... I'm taking it slow this time, so I've built up really, well, <laughs> I say I've taken it slow, but I did do 10 miles at the weekend, um, I'm not very good at taking things slow, but for the first six weeks of my 14 weeks into running, I just did walk and run, so I like started off the first week, I just walked for a minute, ran for a minute, walked for a minute, run for a minute, I get confused, anyway, walk, run, um, for like literally just 10 minutes, and then did 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and I didn't film any of it, because I just wanted to go and do it without the camera, but I think if it helps anyone to encourage them to go running and just enjoy it and not put your pressure on yourself and, you know, go out running without makeup on and don't worry what you're wearing and just go out and blooming do it. I mean, I can't, I will be honest, like, you don't go out and enjoy every run because running is hard. Like, compared to cycling, I think running is a lot harder. I don't know what you guys think, but for me, I find running harder. Um, but it is easy, like, just to put your trainers on and go. So that's what I love about it. And I will say, though, hand on heart, cycling is the one for me I mean you can just see so much more but I think it's nice to have a mixture and not just be set on one thing so yeah I'm going to run for enjoyment I'm not going to let any eating sort of thoughts come back in I've just had a snack actually a minute ago I had a peanut butter pitta and a pear very random but that's what I fancied um so I'm making sure that I'm fueling my runs and so far I've not had any runs where I've felt dizzy or anything like that so that's a really good sign and yeah um I never I didn't plan to do 10 miles at the weekend but I planned to do 10k and then I was at Centre Parks with my family. And there was loads of other runners around and I was just running. I was like, oh, blooming heck, I've been out for ages. And then I didn't even realise because I was just enjoying myself. So, but that that's a sign that it's a good thing. So, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. And I'm waffling now, but I'm also delaying because sometimes I find it quite hard to get out the door. So I'll like get up in the morning. Yeah, I'm going to go on a run today after work. And then it gets to after work and I'm like, oh, I don't want to go. But then I force myself to. 
but not in the way I used to. I force myself to because I know that I'll enjoy it when I get out there. Whereas before I used to force myself to because otherwise I wouldn't be able to. But because I sometimes find it hard to motivate myself to get out, what I do do, do do, if I'm working from home like today, I'll put my running kit on like underneath, normally like more of a smarter outfit, but today I had no teams call, so I just thought whack a hoodie on. Um, but I'll put my running kit on like underneath my work clothes. I could wear a sports bra, leggings and stuff. So then when I'm done, I literally just have to de-layer and go because I think sometimes when you're not motivated any little extra step you've got to do just is like preventing you from getting out the door so yeah but for today's run I'm doing between 8 to 10k that's what I planned so I'm just going to see how I feel if I feel like I'm um, not wanting to do 10k I'll just do 8k but then again if I feel like not even wanting to do 8k I'll do less but I'm going to try and stick to what I planned because I normally try and do one 8 to 10k run a week and then one 5k run a week and then I'm hopefully going to build that a little bit because I think this year I do want to do a half marathon again. So I've got to find one to enter when I'm actually free and when I'm not, I'm not riding my bike. I dragged myself downstairs. The Lions main has been tamed partially um, and it's time to go running. So I'm just going to let you know about my footwear because this is not good advice. So some of you all know that I got hit by a car. Well, I've been hit by a car twice while cycling. Not got the best of luck over here. And in 2021, when I was hit by a car, I'd only just started cycling, so I wasn't yet in cleats. I was in these bad boys. Hang on. Here they are. Still got them. Still live to see another day. Now, these trainers were so, so comfy, the New Balance ones. But from the crash, they did get a few injuries. So they've got a little bit of a hole in the back. Um, they've actually got a few holes. But this one's the worst one. Basically, like, the hole... Basically, I can put my finger through it, really, and it kind of moves around. So it's not the best support on my heel. So when I got the claim money back, I didn't really spend it for a while, I just dropped it on the floor. Um, but then recently, when I restarted running 14 weeks ago, I bought myself these bad boys. I thought I'd treat myself. I went to a running shop, I got my shoes fitted, all of that. They said these were good for me. Good for me, my arse. They are not good for me. I tell you what they're good for, giving me blisters and making my feet hurt. Um, so I kind of put up with them for, well, I've put up with them for 13 weeks actually, but they're not getting any better. So. That was 150 squid wasted. Um, so I'm back to running in these again, which is not the best ideal. Um, but I am going to have to just fork out some cash and buy myself another pair of these because these always work for me and they're really nice. So, yeah, not ideal. Shouldn't really wear trainers that are very worn and have got holes in, but yeah. What's the girl gonna do? I bought myself some new gloves for running because I really, you know, like you start a new thing, you get really light, you want to buy a few things that you need. And I'm one for like, if you need something, get it. If you don't, make do because don't want to waste money. But I did need some new gloves because these bad boys have holes in. Hello, chesty bow. Um, and I bought myself some, the upgraded model of these gloves because I love these gloves and I've lost them. I don't know what I've done with them. They're somewhere in the house, but I'm not faffing around looking for them now because it's going to get dark outside. So these are going on. And then it is cold, so I'm putting my cycling neck warmer on just to remind myself that I'm still a cyclist, really. Sometimes I take Chester with me. Here he is. But he's not coming today because he's had his vaccination today, haven't you? And we're meant to rest you, so not coming today. But he does like to come, and I've got a running lead that he strapped around my waist so he can run next to me. I'm going to go. The next time, Chester, you can come with me, OK? When you're all recovered from your vaccine. Good boy. Right. This is the worst bit I think about starting a run when it's cold and horrible out there and you just think, oh, I just want to stay in bed. I look like I've been dragged through a bush backwards. This is what I look like before the run. What state am I going to be in when I get back? I dread to think. This is one of the reasons I've not filmed my running because I look awful, <laughs> I look awful. Um, anyway, yeah, I've not been very confident about myself recently. I look in the mirror and I think, blow my neck, I'm surprised I've not cracked it. Anyway. You've only got one life, so you can't let your negative thoughts rule you. Yeah, that's what I have to tell myself. Let's get out and live it. Um, right, that's my motivational pep talk done, so I think I'm ready to go now. I am going to run five minutes slow to start with, and then I'll run. Yeah, then I'll just run. And then I'll, I always finish like five minutes from home and walk for five minutes to cool down. But I don't include that in my distance. I do include my warm up in my distance, but I don't include my walk in my distance. So I'll be doing 8k plus five minute walk. That's what I'm telling myself anyway. Right, I better get on with it. See you on the road. Just going down the drive and this fella's got home. Oh, are they for me? Um, no. Oh, who are they for? For the grandparents for looking after them. Oh, the... yeah, grandparents coming around for tea, aren't they? Oh, nice bottle of red. What have you got there, your lunchbox? My lunchbox. And 
around some flowers and some pudding. Put oh, what pudding did you get? Caramelised biscuit crumble pudding. Ooh, that looks nice. Mm. Tastes the difference. Mm. Right, that's motivating me for my run even more. So I better get no. going. Do you want to come on a run, Kyle? Absolutely not. How many weeks did you last of a running? One. I've never filmed when running before, so this is going to be a new experience. I'm just warming up. I'm going for three minutes. Feeling good. I knew that as soon as I got out of the door, I'd feel good. It's just getting out the door that's hard bit. But I'm glad I'm out now. Wish I lived more in the countryside for better views, but you know, I've got a nice path to go on in a minute, so all will be good soon. Grateful to have this track nearby to run on because it's just so much nicer than running through a housing estate. Although I do sometimes get a bit scared. I start thinking like, oh, what happens if I get abducted or something? And when I see someone like far in the distance, I'm always a bit like, oh, I want to turn around. But then I just tell myself, it's just my mind being silly. And yes, there are risks, but as long as you're safe, I've got a tracker on me, on my phone. So Kyle knows where I am all the time. And I'd never come down here in the dark either. So I try and come round like, just after work. There's a lot of dog walkers around, so I feel a bit safer. But yeah, I've been going for 10 minutes, feeling good. Oh, it's feels so much calmer when I'm outside. So nice, loving it so far. Let's keep on going. 15 minutes down, two miles done. Another three miles to go to make it 8K. Oh, we've got a bit of a path block coming up. But luckily, they've cleared it a bit now. Last time I came, couldn't get through at all, so that's a plumbing turn round. But this one's looking all right now. Oh, I'm a bit out of breath. Where do I go? Oh, I'm going someone else coming. Thank you. Hello. Oh, I feel bad Chester's not with me today. But you can come out next time. It's hard to talk and run, I'm discovering. 21 minutes. 45 seconds, three miles done. That's like one, two, three, four, uh, 4.8K. So feeling good. I think I might try and go to 10K because I'm enjoying it. Although I wish I didn't have this on. Too probably not now. Uh, it's very windy though. So looking forward to a tailwind rather than a headwind back. Whew. Keeping on going. Not seeing many people out today. Four miles down, keeping on going. Whew, loins are feeling good. Nose is dripping, it's a look. Running back towards home now. I've done five miles, which is eight kilometers. So just 1.25 miles to go, or two kilometers to get 10K. <sighs> Let's do this. I'll tell you one thing, after sitting down all day for work, it's nice to be moving. I keep telling myself that anyway. <laughs> I'm sprinting the last bit. Oh geez, I just saw the time and I was like, oh, if I go for it, I can do it in 44 minutes. <sighs> Gee whiz, that was hot. 44 minutes. <sighs> right, now it's time to do Five minutes slow run, five minute walk to cool down. Oh, I'm just jogging now to cool down. I always make sure I cool down now because in the past I've not been very good at it and since I did the lactate threshold test, it showed me the importance of it because my lactate levels were risen after a day after I did a park run because I didn't cool down properly. So I'm prioritizing that now and the way I make sure I do it is to always finish a bit of away from home so I don't have a choice because either cool down or run further. I know what I'd rather be doing. So yeah. Now I know at the beginning of this video I said that I'm not running to focus on time or anything like that. But I think there's always a bit in me that does want to get a good time and I kind of use that to motivate myself. So when I'm running, if I'm finding it hard, I'll focus on the time. So I'll be like, right, by this many minutes, I want to have gone this far but I do it so that it's not too much to push myself it's like quite easy-ish depending on what I want to do but 
I don't have that in me now where I'm like, if you don't hit that time, you're rubbish, which is what I used to be like. Now it's just like, well, if you don't hit that time, well, at least you tried and at least you're out running. So yeah, it's about running, but being kind to myself this time and doing it for the right reasons. I'm walking back now. And yeah, I really enjoyed that run. It's quite hard to film when I'm running. <laughs> I probably sound really out of breath, but hopefully I'll get better at that so I can share some more runs, but I won't be filming all my runs because sometimes it's nice just to go without the camera and just enjoy it, but if it can encourage other people to get out and run, then that's why I do it. So I'm more than happy to do that. But um, yeah, really enjoyed that. Wasn't expecting that I'd do 10K tonight because how I felt going out, I just thought I'm going to do the bare minimum, but I was feeling good so I went for it I'm quite happy with that time because that's a fast time for me 44 50 whatever it was um but like I say like it's not really about the time although it kind of is because I think I'm quite competitive really with myself not really with other people just I'm always like, aiming for the best and I think it's hard for me not to sort of think about time and stuff but I'm just in a place where it's not like I'm punishing myself if I don't do a good time and I do let myself run without looking at the time as well so sometimes I go on a run and I put my sleeve over my watch and I just don't look at the time I just do a loop route so I know how far the distance is and I don't look at the time that's my run ding dang done thanks for watching I hope that's been slightly entertaining um I'm sure Kyle will have a laugh at me sweating away um but yeah I've come back thinking right I need to enter a half marathon I'm gonna do it because I've done two before so I know I can do it but the only thing is the last two times I've done one, both times I've ended up with a hip injury after. So I think I'm gonna book in with like a running person that looks at you, I don't know, looks at how you run. Cause I feel like I don't run properly. Maybe I'm like leaning wrong or I have got a slightly twisted spine. Like I've got that scoli scoliosis very, very slightly. But I wonder if that makes um, me run like a little bit weirdly. Cause it's always the same hip. So that's the only thing that puts me off so I'm going to get that sorted and then I'll feel much better but there's no plan for a triathlon yet maybe in a few years time I've got too many cycling things I want to do before that but um yeah for now we'll just stick to the cycling and the running but cycling is still my favorite I've actually actually let me show you just to prove cycling is still my favorite I've got some little bikes on there you know just to remind myself that cycling is the best but anyway I'm going to go now because I'm waffling as usual Got to go home and cook Carl's grandparents a turkey mince spag bowl tonight, so that'll be a nice recovery meal. Lovely bit of tagliatelle pasta. Oh yeah. And when I get home, I'm going to have a nice hot chocolate because apparently that's quite good after a run. Any excuse for hot chocolate, I say. So thanks so much for watching. TT to the FN. Goodbye.